So now let's see how we can make timing adjustments onto our character after we are done recording. So I'm just going to hit the record button right over here and then the recording happens out. So I'm just going to hit the right arrow key to make the character walk onto the right side. Let it pause there for a bit and then walk back just like this and then that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the hand right over here. Maybe he has a wave and then over here there's the left hand. I'm just going to wave that out as well a bit and then let's stop it. So all of the information of the recording is here on these layers right here. So let me just refresh that out right here and then over here let's see where the character starts walking. The character starts walking right from over here. So what I can do is I can split this or I can drag it out to delete the portion when the character is at rest. So I'm just going to go to edit right here and then I'm going to split it. So you can see that the layers now split as I was selecting it. So I can just delete this layer out right here, go back and then the character now starts walking immediately because the information of walk is right there just like that. So now there's a bit of a rest and the character walks back as you can see and that's it. So I can just split this out. The shortcut key for that is Control shift D. You can press that as well. I'm just going to click this and then delete out this one right here. So now what I can do is what um, there's the hand wave right here that I actually did right over here on this section. What I can do is I can bring this on to the beginning part where the character is at rest. So I'm just going to split this out as well. So I'm just going to hit uh, go around into edit, split this out right here. So I didn't want to split everything. So I just want to split this part. So I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to go around into edit split just like that. There's the hand wave right here just like that and that's it. So I'm just going to split this part out as well. Split this and delete this out. Alternatively, you can also uh, like drag these around to for the area. So right over here on this section, there's the other hand movement. So I'm just going to click and drag this around right here from this side. Just click and drag it right over here on this section. So there's a bit of a hand movement over there as well. So I'm just going to keep it till there. So now I know that these are the areas where the hand movements are there. So what I want to do is I want to add in the hand movements on the exact rest position right here. So I can just bring this in right here and then bring this in over here. So what happens is that both of the hand movements now happens in the rest area, but the hand movements are till here. So I don't want it to happen right over here. So I'm just going to go around right here and then split this section out. So I'm just going to go around and going to go into edit split. So I can drag this out right over here until now let's say there's the walk right here somewhere over. Let's just stop it. Okay, let's just go around right here. There's a walk somewhere around here. So just going to drag it out. So just going to go around and that's it. That's the walk right here. So now what happens is that if I were to play this around, uh, the character goes on to the right just like that and the character waves the hand and you can see that both of the wave happen at the same time and the character walks back. And this is how you can retime everything um, for your animation just like that. So you got that, you got this and then you got the retiming of the hand movements and everything else and that is how you can adjust the timing inside of character animator. Uh, um, uh, so, so even if you record them at a different ways, you can bring them out together and then just work with them. So that is how you can adjust the character timings uh, in animations in character Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.